Hello peeps, Liesl here again and tonight finally I'm coming to you with the very metamorphosized, if that is a real word, um, box base bill. Um, yes, as you can see, a bit of a change of plan, so no waffling from me and straight in. So yes, as we remember, we were going to use the lovely beer crate for the body of the instrument. And this is the first time I've attempted to like play, let alone build anything this tall and upright, I must say. But um, yes, what can I say? The whole thing kind of went and disintegrated on the ground. Um, yeah, basically the pallet that we were using for the front of the instrument, um, when I went to actually drill it and what have you, the wood was very petrified in a way and it just cracked and split and um, yeah very much the same with the beer crate really it's still very dry inside and basically turned to powder <laughs> and kind of disintegrated off the neck um, you'll notice that the neck's a lot longer on this as well than the one that we were originally going to use um, yeah that was a bit of a result once more from the parking lot fairies I decided to change tack on that because the other neck having been sawn off at the top due to the first experiment failing was a little bit too short if you watch back over a few videos you will understand what I'm talking about if you haven't seen them already but um, we did manage to salvage anyway the bottle opener which does seem to have made quite a fantastic bridge I'm hoping you can hear this properly but I've had to stand right back in the sound lab just to fit her all in. I mean, I'm five foot eleven and she's nearly as tall as me, so it's quite a tall instrument. Um, but I am pleased that you can actually spin around. <laughs> Thanks to the addition. Let me just come closer of the spike, which is in the bottom. So yeah, very much a hobo base. She does seem a bit strange to me as uh the body's kind of like halfway up here and I've never tried to play a double bass or anything like that so I thought what can I do really I thought well really she has a very large diddly bow just being played upended if you like so I thought I'd start from there but to run you through this one um, really it's a bit of a prototype as the box did disintegrate yesterday, I thought I'm going to go to bed and sleep on this. I was going to abandon the project to be honest, but I thought, no, there is another box and it's a much larger one. So, hence a better sound and a lot more bang for your buck. But I didn't want to stop there and I don't, right? <laughs> I did have a little result once more from the parking lot fairies. Um, and I found some quite large sheets of plywood. It looks like industrial plywood to me because there's quite a lot of knots and stuff in it. So nothing that people would buy, you know, for furnishings or whatever. But I think actually that might make for quite a nice arty looking instrument. And I've decided that I want to extend the body and see what we get. Because I think we could probably get something quite amazing out of this. So this one is pretty scruffy as you can see. Um, I just literally nailed a plank <laughs> to the neck for the fingerboard. But they will come off easily because the neck's quite good. Basically it was a wooden curtain rail, I think, which someone just threw out. It's quite nice, thick in diameter. And I do think you get more reverb with a broader neck. It's quite nicely seasoned wood as well. It's been hanging up in someone's front room, no doubt, for a number of years or whatever. And uh, I don't know, if I come a bit closer, I know you can't see so much of the instrument, but... Uh... Thank you. 
as you can see, she is just the most amazing fun. Yeah, I mean, I've been having fun in the last hour because it's only about within the last hour that I've finished this and tidied up and cleared up all the sawdust and what have you. But I must admit, it is great fun. <laughs> and I'm determined to be able to play it. So I'm going to stick with this just for now um, as there are other ongoing builds, as you know. I won't talk about those now because they are coming up very soon. In our latest Bits Between the Bits, I can't remember if it's Bits Between the Bits 4 or Bits Between the Bits 5, but it's going to be Bits Between the Bits, the big bits. And this big instrument is your first clue as to why the big bits. Also, there's going to be a feature on some of the long-term projects. Um, including including them even as big bits because they're well lengthy tasks <laughs> it makes sense to me all right so there we go um, yeah I didn't want to totally abandon this one so she's kind of thrown together and basically just nailed together and it's strange having it upright and balanced on a pin but like a I don't even know how you're supposed to stand with these really, but like I say, incredible fun. So a very ad hoc video, totally unplanned, but I thought, no, I've got to bring this to us tonight. Um, and yeah, I do intend to develop this one further, because the neck's really good, and I'm quite pleased how that's come out, so we can reuse that. and. Uh, I'm starting to waffle. So, I will leave it there for now. <laughs> and as always, um, that leaves only for me to say. Wherever you are, do stay safe. Whatever you're doing, do stay blessed. And whatever life brings, keep building. Okay then, peeps. Bye for now then. Bye.